Um, alright guys, Survivor here, welcome back to another review. Now this, now I haven't done these kind of reviews in a while now, and this is a review of, of a game, just to let y'all know. Um, if y'all read the title page, y'all know what it, y'all know what it is. This is my review of a game that's so fucking badass, that does a lot of shit right. And a first person shooter, and this was namely one of the best games of 2012 that was released in 2012, along with Borderlands 2, with freaking The Walking Dead game by Telltale Games, The Walking, the Walking Dead game by, by, by Telltale Games. Um, what was that other game that was on there? Guild Wars 2, I think. I don't, I don't know. This. It's my review of Far Cry Motherfucking 3. Far Cry 3. I cannot believe I'm reviewing this game right now. This game is so fucking badass as I can get. I mean, I mean, as I can pretty much get. I mean, this is one hell of a rated M for mature game. And this, is, uh, this game did so well. Even hit platinum hits. Yeah, this is a platinum hit. Uh, you know, game. I got. Uh, I got uh, other platinum hit games up there. Grand Theft Auto 4, um, Dead Island. Um, what was the other one? Saints Row 4 and Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 2000, 2011 re reboot. And Far Cry 3 is. Possibly one, it's possibly the best one I played. Because best platinum hit game. The reason why is because I freaking love uh, Far Cry. Um, I haven't played the other games, uh, the past two games at all. But the game, it just looks so fucking cool. Even the main villain makes make, makes himself on 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 the cover. The, that dude looks fucking terrifying, boss. But Far Cry 3, I love it. It's this is also named Platinum Very Vert Vert Number One Rated Shooter of 2012, past Call of Duty Black Ops in two and Black Ops two. And people loved this game. People. Love this game so much. People really wanted to see this game. They want really want to play it. I mean, this game has got not only got a story mode, it's got co, it's got a separate cooperative multiplayer mode taking place a, a few months but before the main story begins. And the multiplayer, uh, I haven't played it yet. I'm sorry if I haven't played it yet myself. I've I've uh, seen gameplay. It, it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, there were a few flaws. I've I've, I've looked at the multiplayer because I really wanted to get 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 along with this review. But the multiplayer so far, I've actually seen it, and I've heard like my some of my friends' reaction to. I actually heard some of my friends' reaction to the multiplayer when they were playing one night. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, just that it's the, it's just that good, but. It's the game is fucking 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 awesome. I really uh like I really love the game. Um the game is so fucking good. I mean just on how much content is in in, in, in this in this rated M for mature game. Um it's got a lot of uh detail in it. It was Hopefully it was actually one of the best uh, for for its time. It, it was one of the best uh, looking games for its time. Um, and I, I have to admit, it was fucking worth it. It was. I mean, so yeah. Um, Far Cry Three. I freaking love this game. It's been published by U U Ubisoft and. And, and Ubisoft does know how to publish games for for last. Like this is this is their last pub published game of the year, and I 
cannot believe I, I they say the best for last from their from their company of that year and I have to say it was worse uh I have to say it was actually worth uh worth uh wait waiting for all right so now we got that out of the way let's let's get along with the story so 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 the story follows fall follow follows this guy named Jason Brody who who was who went to this uh who just come to this island of uh uh what's it called uh damn um Rook Ru Rook Island I think that's the name 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 of it I, I don't know because I've been playing it too much I've been watching too much anime to to remember the name of the fucking island um. Root, 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 Rogue Island. I think that's the name, name, name of it. Yeah. Um. He he was on vacation with his friends on Rogue Island, and they. And they and at the opening sequence, you see them all hanging out and all that shit. Hell, let's hell, let's let let's show some full of footage of them hang hanging out. Okay. All, all right, guys. That yeah, that was some full footage of them hanging out, going green, going to fucking strip club, <laughs> hanging out, hang gliding, jumping off of planes, going through the air, parachutes, and that yeah, some some of the most crazy ass shit you would think of to hang out. I'm not kidding. <laughs> but but yeah, that's what. But yeah. Then we find out later we see we see this guy named later you find out it's just re recordings. Then you find a guy you know go you know hold hold of the phone is the main villain of the uh, is one of the main villains uh boss and yeah it's this motherfucker right here um and boss uh he holds you captive and. He holds you captive, and he holds you and your brother Grant, and his uh brother and Jason's Jason's brother Grant, and and uh, he's captured, and you're both captured, and you're trying to escape the uh the camp, and then you try to and and it shows like the stealth part of the game, which is the very first. Uh, part of it showing you like like the stealth mechanics so it can be useful later on in the game I'll, 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 I'll explain more about that about the stealth how important it is um the game is actually the game's uh stealth system it's really cool uh and it is actually part of this part of the intro anyway then you finally find find a way out then Grant gets shot in that. Grant gets shot in the head by Voss himself. Well, when Voss finds out you're you're escaping, then he just goes batshit and crazy and just gives you a chance. He he even though he's fucking crazy, he gives you a chance to run off and to to run off. Well, and he still thinks that you can't escape even if you do try to run. So he was just but he was just giving him a chance. All that shit. And then, actually, Jason actually escapes. And then, then, then the intro goes on with the credits, all that stuff. Then you meet up with this one guy named. Then you find find this guy that rescued you, named Dennis, who who um, asks you to join uh, the Rock Yacht. The Rock Yacht is the is like this. Gigantic group of people, uh, uh, fighting against bosses, uh, uh, mess, and then, but if if fight, it faces boss in his in, in, in his army, and you try to help him out and all that stuff, 
uh, you learn, but but during the store, still during doing the, the tutorial stacks section, you're still you're hunting animals, um, you're climbing up towers so you can activate activate them, which which helps you you know you know get more guns in the get in the game and show it was help which helps you get more guns in the game. Some of them actually become could become free. Um, when you uh, do more of those towers, and and actually the game actually, and also you're li li liberating an outpost which helps the rocky uh throughout the game, which also allows you to do hunting missions, and allows you to do hunt hunt hunting missions or wanted missions. Uh, the reason why the outpost one. It's pretty much there. Is because you, you it is pretty much there. It's because you know it helps you expand where you're gonna be at. Hell, if you're like walking in a distance and not liberating them, you'll be having fucking bosses, men just going straight out to your ass most of the time. So that's why they're kind of important. Cause I felt through that shit like a couple times. I'm like, dude, fuck this, liberating this one motherfucker's outpost. It actually felt like I was uh, expanding the rock, the rocky yacht. Uh, whatever else I liberated the outpost, you know, you know, increasing our force against the boss's men, um, the boss's army. It was just so fucking awesome. And I have to say, the game actually does a lot of stuff. Now, back to the story. The the game actually lets you, um, actually not the game, uh. So your main goal throughout the game is finding your friends, getting them off, getting them, get, get, getting them from from boss, and like uh, J Jason's girlfriend Lisa, uh, his other bra brother Riley, uh, the the pothead Oliver, um, Keith, and uh, and Daisy. Which you find out one of them has already escaped in into this one guy's house. Uh, I'll explain who that who that is uh, in, in a bit. Um, then your goal is to find them all, try and try to find a way off the island at the same time. Because after this, you want to get off the island and be on your fucking way. And I have to say, the game is. Fucking uh, awesome at it. Uh, the story is really strong. There's a lot of build up. There's and there's a lot of build up and emotion between the characters. And I'm mean, not liking story wise like a Mass Effect with them. Uh, it's about a little bit there. It's kind of like this far until like they. It's kind of like this far until like they reach that level. But the story just straight uh, straight up bets this. I love Far Cry 3 for doing this. Like I s now let's get on to the to the gameplay. Uh so yeah throughout the game you're gonna be going through, you know, finding all your friends, getting off the island, all that all that stuff. But it gets a lot of it, it gets intense all the time and you don't and with it with it with boss around you don't know where where he's gonna be. He's really an un, un, unexpected bastard, and he's just he's just fucking sick. And he always taunts you, and you get to know him more and more. At, you get to know him more every single time you encounter him. Just damn. And, and then just there's a lot of just wow. And I have to say, the gameplay is really, really awesome. Um, you still and you got your run and gunning Call of Duty bullshit, but like in Far Cry, um, in Far Far Cry Three, uh, I think in I think just like in the pre previous games, I, I think I think I looked up because I, I know I looked up some gameplay of both games. Uh, you you go through this, um, you go through stealthily. You go through. Uh, you you can either uh, you can choose multiple multiple paths to uh, complete your objective. 
like the outposts, like I said. The outposts are probably the most fun experience. And like literally the most fun experience. Just because the, because that's probably possibly the most multiple ways to situation I ever did. Because there were a bunch of moments where I grabbed a sniper rifle, shot an animal out of the cage, and let him just, just kill everyone. And one time, it was a motherfucking black bear. That, that was, that was, I, I swear to God, there was, there was a fucking black bear in, 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 in a cage. I shit you not. And that shit was fucking awesome. He was just wrecking people. I remember it was I was like damn son fucking him up and then later you find that or you can uh, go in stealthily kill everyone like like you're killing everyone just stabbing into like shh 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 <laughs> just 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 going out of there just, just going in there freaking solid snakes for friggin' Mel your solid uh splinter splinter cell style just going stab just just killing them. Or you can go in fucking Call of Duty Michael Bay style Gun the Blaze Gun the Blaze just, or freaking RPG their asses. Call of Duty Michael Bay style just Damn and and it's just insane when you do shit like that. When, when, because I've seen P because I've seen gameplay. I think I remember seeing this one guy on fucking YouTube where he just fucking went in like he's the fucking Terminator or something. Went in with a fucking rocket launcher, a uh, flamethrower, some machine gun, uh, a soul rifle, just. He was fucking M L fucking G, <laughs> and that was not to say that 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 is awesome. I prefer going in stealth because you earn more points if you are de de detected. You 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 don't don't raise the alarms, and you kill er er everyone, and that's kind of tough. It really is tough. It really ain't if you got like. Um, pretty much most of all this, the skills you can upgrade. Yes, there is a, a, a upgrade to the system where um, where each one contains like a tattoo. Uh, you know that uh, if y'all played it, uh, like like if y'all play Far Cry Three, then then y'all know. Uh, Jason has like a tattoo at the, at the beginning because he escaped Voss's camp, and no one no one has had had this before. So I understand of how Voss how dangerous Voss, Voss is. And Jason's like the first one to escape from one of his camps. You get this t tattoo called talk called a t t t tattoo or something, and uh, which is all uh, which is which unleashes the the warrior in uh, Jason and and you oh and you upgrade more uh in every single time you level level up you upgrade more uh throughout the game and. Which each each skill you have has a different ta tattoo in it. Has a different tattoo, and and if you get like all of them, man, your your arm looks so fucking cool. Like at the end of mine, I still haven't got all the skills yet, but I have like a lot of skills all over my all over tattoos all over my fucking arms. It it looks fucking cool. I'm just saying, <laughs> it just looks so fucking cool. It's not even a joke, and 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 yeah, there's a, and there's a, and it just the game just goes all out, man. You can do whatever the hell you want. The first person open world game. Who doesn't want that? We all had our fair share of open world games. Most of them are third person. You never really get first person open world games. I mean, seriously, Far Cry Three. Open world first person. Who does who doesn't want that? That shit's awesome. Oh yeah. And possibly the funnest part is when the most intense part of parts of the game oh fuck. Um is when you're getting chased 
by fucking pirates. Now, in Far Cry 2, I remembered uh, someone getting chased the living shit out of. And if they would chase the living shit out of you, and your guns would jam and all that, I'm kind of sad that it does that they don't have that anymore because it, it's more realistic. And I, I love it how they can they be real, real realistic about that, but some sometimes they kind of fail at some elements of, of realistic in games sometimes, but but I but I just but when you're getting chased, um you're freaking driving your car and shit and, and and you're trying to escape and all that and you're just you're like oh my god, oh my god, get out of the way, get out of the way and I have to admit um just like Angry Joe did and just like Angry Joe said in his in his review, um actually not that yet. Um when when you fall off when you drive your car like off a cliff and all that shit, or off a fucking wa waterfall, which I did, which looked fucking awesome. I wish I could have recorded that, but <sighs> it's so fucking cool. Like Angry Joe said in his review, I'm gonna be showing full. F I'm gonna tr I'm gonna show full full footage of him all driving driving off a fucking cliff, cause. That shit was awesome in his video, um, um, like like he said in his in his, in his Far Cry 3 review, if you drive yourself off a cliff, you definitely drove drove your fucking car. You definitely feel like you drove your fucking car off a cliff. Seriously, this was this was angry. This is Angry Joe's perspective of that game. Literally, check it, check the shit out. It literally feels like it when. You drive on a cliff, like literally. Check, check, check this out. This is Angry Joe's first perspective uh, of it. Literally, check this shit out. Oh shit! Fucking enemy camp. Oh god! Remember to go forward. It's just some bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Shit. Come on. Get up this hill, motherfuckers. Oh shit! I'm going too fast now. <laughs> oh, Whoa! Oh shit! Oh! Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh fuck! I'm on fire! Oh! Heal myself! Oh God! Thank God! Woo! I made it! Oh, okay. Okay. That is what I felt like when I when I when I freaking just fell off that fucking war war waterfall like later in the game, and yeah, um, I had to use Ang Angry Joe's uh footage. I just wanted to show y'all like. How fucking cool it looked and everything. Um, I really love uh, how Far Cry 3 does, does, does it. Um, and also throughout the game, you also get uh, guns, which all that way there's a shit ton of guns, and and you can custom and you have this gun store which you can customize your guns, attachments and colors. There's just a lot of them, like a lot of colors for the or, or the there's several colors for uh, each gun, but uh, every, every, like a lot of them are different, and there and these attachments and it depends like which one should be attached or anything. And my favorite hand handgun is always and will be the motherfucking Lightning Hawk Desert Eagle Magnum. I freaking love that type of gun. Uh, I don't know. I actually think I have one. It's actually supposed to be a BB gun. It was supposed to be a BB gun first. It was supposed to be a BB gun with 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 with, with the Desert Eagle model. You know, trying to look like it's real. That is a good way to trick 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 people because you need it to defend your ass. And also, you can also earn cash by killing a animals in. And, and getting their skin as like a cheap mechanic, but all which is kind of a cheap mechanic, I I have to admit. But you can also you use animal skins to craft, you know, like like wet like wet wet weapon hole holsters, so you can so you can uh get you, you can carry more weapons, a uh, wallet. You can craft a a, a larger wallet. Uh, you can also, uh, 
I forgot what the other stuff was, but those are the only, only two main main stuff I know. And that and it's freaking cool. And also, you can also you can also you you can also gather plants to craft um, these syringes. Like like you can use them for health. So you because there's one that you can gather your health all the way up, and uh, and it has special abilities where you can see where every where where, every, where everyone is. It's kind of like yeah yeah I mean, have an eyes of a cat or something, and then you also have a you know long range distance, long range distance, which means if you're if, if even with a sniper rifle, you can't really reach that enemy that far. Use that, use that syringe, or heroin, as like as I like to call call it. And and freaking boom, bam, blast his ass off without without getting spotted, like a boss. Sniper elite shit right there. But I freaking just. Love the how the game does does, does all, all this stuff. The, the list can go on. I mean, I mean, there's a a beautiful day and day and night cycle which I really like. And also sometimes even if even in throughout and most of the like literally all the time, or like most most of the time, it affects uh the cutscenes. Like most of the time, it actually affects the cutscenes. The day and night cycle. I, I, I really, really loved how they did that. It's kind of like how they did in Grand Theft Auto V. Even though Far Cry 3 came out before Grand Theft Auto V, it, it was still good. It, it's still a good thing. Um, also, you can, also, you can fast travel, and like I said about the out, outposts, you can unlock more of them. You can unlock more safe houses by, by defeating their uh, strongholds which are outposts and it's really cool to see it it's really cool to do because I and I needed to and I unlocked a lot of freaking uh, safe houses because there were so many times I was like dude I need to get over to this motherfucking spot because I want to walk my ass run, run my ass all, all, all over there hauling ass and shit while I'm getting hunted by either, either pirates or freaking or freaking wild uh, animals in the wild and animals in here they are freaking just they it has to be like probably the one probably possibly the best animals I one of the best animal uh, wildlife I actually seen because because there because there were times where I just saw tigers go ape shit crazy um against uh, um of the bosses pirates and I was like, dude, I better, or they, or they can, uh, hunt, uh, herbivores, and you can just watch, and, and it's just, and it's just really cool how they do it, I, I, I was actually amazed, oh yeah, and the animations when you're, uh, he healing yourself, even if you don't have, like, a syringe or heroin, as I like to call it, um, uh, you can actually see Jason wrapping, wrapping himself up, uh, wrap himself up on his other arm, or fix his freaking broken thumb and just put it back. I never seen some shit like that, in, in, like since like Resident Evil Apocalypse, where Alice, Alice's uh, middle finger is fucked up. She just like, Ugh. that was like some intense shit right there because that actually got me when I first saw that scene in the movie. movie. Great movie, awesome movie by the way. Um, I actually, um, was like, dude, this is just fucking insane. The game, it's just, it's just great. And I just, I just love how the game just does everything right. The outposts, all that. Oh, yeah, and there are vehicles in the game, like I said. Um, like I said, when you drive your car off the cliff and all that stuff, there are other vehicles in the game. Boats, ATVs, vans, actually jeeps, uh, and all that shit. Uh, um, there, there's even zip lines and fucking gliders. And in uh, in the zip lines, they're freaking cool as hell. And and the 
in a in a hang glider. No, I really enjoy that one. And plus, you get plus later on in the game, like a bit half about a little almost there to the end, you can also you can also jump you know so get off the hang glider and just fly around like you're fucking a, a falling Superman. But it's a cool idea. And, I have to say, and also, if we're going to talk about the character, let's talk about Voss. Voss is the boss. I mean, Voss, he's, he's really crazy, and I have to say, he actually deserves uh, one of the best villains of 2012. He, uh, I really hope he did win that award, uh, unless he did make a tie between... Ham and Han and some Jack from Borderlands 2. But, but who, who knows? It, but Boss, I really, really like his character. And also, I mean, also later on in the game, you, you, act, you actually, like, later on, you find out the, that Boss has, like, a, has a boss in Hoyt. And, his boss fight now the boss fights later on people are gonna be pissed off the the boss fights are through quick time events and a lot of people hate quick time events and I just don't understand why um people say it's a it's a cheap mechanic to to, to combat and I just don't and to be honest I have no clue why people hate him. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a cheap mechanic, but I don't give a shit. I mean, I played, I mean, I went through Resident Evil 4, and I actually like the quick time events in those, because that, because that one uh, scene where Leon and Krauser were fighting, um, the that part, I was like, wow, that's a really awesome part. When there when there's quick time events, I always thought it was kind of cool for the player to a interact in a cutscene, because that's pretty much what it is, <laughs> and that's pretty much what they are most of the time. I really liked it, and just I was just like, wow, I really like quick time events a lot. I don't know. It's just it's just it's just me because I've always liked quick quick time events. I liked them in uh, that one Dragon Ball Z game. I think it was Ultimate Tenkaichi, uh, with the big Great Eight Vegeta, uh, boss battle. It was a great game. Uh, oh yeah, great game by the way. Um, yeah, I thought quick time events were a cool mechanic to um. Interact in the cutscenes, and, and if you fail, you get this alternate death. I really liked how Leon died. If you like fail the uh, cut uh, quick time event, hell, if you hell if you don't do this quick time event, Leon would end up, you know, you know, have, have his health like halfway down or so, or damage, which which would end up resulting freaking death. And uh, and. I love all the quick in the quick time events. I didn't even fail once. Like I've seen a rab rab play the ending of the Far Cry Three, and he freak he died like a couple times in that game. I'm like, dude, how the hell did you fuck that up? Because I actually got that shit on one try. I did that. I shit you not. And 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 I thought and, and you know. I actually thought the game was actually worth uh, playing for sure, and also there are other web, web and yeah, and there's actually a couple of weapons I I I, I should I should tell y'all the flamethrower and the motherfucking um uh bow and arrow like the recurve bow like, like if you don't use those guys it'd be kind of your uh, throughout the game, like if you don't use, you know, these special guns or something, like Angry Joe said in his, in his review, it'd be your fault. It'd be your fault, and you have to do this and all that, or you have to pick up, go through a different strategy. Um, 
the kind of problem I have now what problems do I have with Far Cry 3 I really have no problems although it was fun as hell uh, I did find a bit of few flaws in the multiplayer when I looked up gameplay uh, the, the co-op's uh, kind of fun I actually played uh, a bit of the first mission I never really played it because uh, I was about to get ready for bed <laughs> Uh, when I was like in the middle of it, I was like, oh, I'm tired, I'm gonna play, play this tomorrow. <laughs> and I forgot. It was actually pretty fun, I, I actually admit. And the, and the characters are actually kind of really, really memorable. Uh, let me, in, in Jason, you know, a bit more interesting. But, uh, Far Cry 3 also has his other, um, oh yeah. And there's this one thing, other thing I should mention. There are drugs in the game. And some of them you use in combat. Are you shitting me? <laughs> like, I mean, uh, of course, the drugs actually do play a big part in Far Cry 3. Like when, like, like when you're tripping, like, like, like when you're tripping balls in in a cave, or trying to, or fighting freaking demons and, and to become the ultimate warrior but in the rock in the rock yacht but I actually thought that was kind of some really cool but trippy shit <laughs> I have to admit and and I thought it was great I thought it was great and I, I yeah the drugs it was just kind of fucked up but and also I, the only problem I give Far Cry 3 is the a bit in the middle of the game when you're trying to rescue one of your friends is just trying to get get this shiny knife you're after, but this guy wants it. And you, have, you have to give it to him to get back your friend. Uh, you try to go find it, and throughout the middle of the game, you uh, I don't know. The game, I think it used too many Mol Molotov guys. That really pissed me off so much. I mean, yeah, I know there's a button where you can like, you know, you know, put out the fire and all all that. But the, but they used way too much of the of the guys with with Molotovs. Like, they used so many of them. It's not even funny. It was like. Oh, throw this, throw this, and this guy, and and I was like, put out the fire while they were they were shooting my ass. <laughs> they freaking they freaking annoyed the shit out of me. They really did. But I don't know. It's a bit of a nitpicky thing, but it's there, and uh, I I don't know. Like that's pretty much all. That's pretty much the flaws I can. Uh, the flaws I can tell about the multiplayer. There's no ammo drop. Uh, there's no ammo pad pickup. I'm like, why? <laughs> uh, why aren't there in it? There's no vehicles. Uh, but the cool thing about the multiplayer I found was uh, that you can. Uh, the top I think losing or win winning player in in the opposite team either, either um. Either kill him or get or, or give him mercy, and I have to admit that is a pretty cool thing. Uh, and also on Xbox and PC, on on Xbox, PC, and PlayStation Three, you can actually use this map editor, which is actually a, a free DLC where you, can, where you can create your own maps. And wow, the map editor is freaking cool as hell. I actually. Ended up, uh, actually, and ended up finding one, one of the coolest looking maps I ever seen. I ha I haven't touched it, but it, it's actually really cool. Uh, uh, a DLC, a, a free DLC, in fact. I actually really liked uh, that. Uh, I actually really like it. It's really cool. Uh, it's one of the coolest fucking things I've seen. Let's put up some light up in this bitch. It's getting dark, but. 
but um but yeah the game I really liked it and also um what else can I talk about Far Cry 3 shit I really have no uh, I have like nothing else to talk about Far Cry 3 um I just want to let y'all know um oh yeah um the soundtrack Hot damn. The main theme, the song when you're when you, when you're first when when you're first, you know, burn burning shit with a flamethrower in that one mission. The soundtrack is freaking phenomenal. Like it has a lot of like, 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 like they use the main main theme a bunch of times. It's kinda like an elfin lead where they use the 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 opening song so many times, but it actually fits the, the scene. I didn't really give it. I didn't, didn't really make it a, as a flaw. Oh, really? Because I thought it really fitted the scenes. I didn't really bother, and it didn't really bother me. Um. Um. The, but the, but the freaking rap, whatever the hell. But the freaking DJ, whatever, whatever the hell that was, I was playing in the background with the. Uh, when you're using a flamethrower to burn down like like this weed and all that shit, I was like. What the hell is a song? It's so fucking perfect for this song, for this moment. And but yeah, the soundtrack I really liked it. it there was a there was, there was a song I played in the background where I was being chased, and it actually fitted so well. Not kidding. Oh yeah, and there was, yeah at the end of the game where you're, when you're, you when you're flying a helicopter, when this guy's one flying a helicopter, you just shoot and there all all that. There's a song I recognize. I I I I know, but I was so I was so shocked when I heard that song. <sighs> I was like, "What? How the hell did they get their hands on this song?" <laughs> but I was surprised as hell to actually see that, and I I just love Far Cry Three. It's a damn good game, and also. Actually, the game actually has two e endings, uh, two choices at the end. Um, the game is actually really good. I freaking loved it. It's so freaking cool. Um, I, I just love Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 gets a fucking awesome score, in my opinion. It deserves a really high score, because... I think it does deserve it, cause, cause, I mean, look at this. It's just a really badass game. I just, and like Game Informer said on the back of this bitch, an adventure you won't want to miss. I, I agree with them like that, e even if they were paid to. And look at all these scores on the back. Ten out of ten by EG by EGM WO dot com. Nine out of ten by IGN. Nine out of ten by by GameSpot. And nine out of ten by Game Game Informer. A lot of people love this game, and it's just so fucking cool. Oh yeah, and there's motherfucking sharks. I'm not kidding. They're sharks. And just and whenever sometimes I got in the water, when there's there sharks, I'm like, oh shit! Like like I was escaping in like 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 was out of a jaw scene or something. But but I love it. I freaking love uh, Far Cry Three. It's really good. It's it deserves uh, the the AI. Um, the game can be a bit annoying with the, with it with the uh the same amount of enemies like like the Molotov guys they really pissed me off, but in the multiplayer did miss a couple did miss a few things which kind of lowered the score a bit down, but it still doesn't give away it do, it doesn't but it doesn't really uh destroy the experience it's a hell of an experience. It's, but also, oh yeah, I forgot to mention one thing. 
Also, one, one, one more thing. This is a rated M for mature game. Uh, there's a bunch of rated M mature stuff. Uh, there are people getting tortured. There are people getting uh. There, there are people, people, people getting tortured. Uh. Mm. And uh, shit. Um. There are people, people getting tortured. Uh. Um. What was that other thing that Joe mentioned in this review? I have, I have to remember that. Um. There's this one crazy dude who doesn't shut the hell up. Uh, Buck who likes to, yeah, like that. Oh, oh yeah. And for all you per perverted guys out there, boobs. Yes, there. Yeah, there's nudity in the game. I'm like, wow. But the game does, but it doesn't destroy the experience. I didn't really mind all that shit at all. Since I've seen like enough mature content as it is, and and also there, there's a game of poker which you can play uh, with a lot of PvP people. There's, there's even a achievement. There's even a couple of achievements of poker on there. And I heard Joe in his review that it was probably the best uh, poker type experience since Red Dead Redemption. I was like, all right, looks cool and shit. And I say all right. I even know I played a game of it at the end of the game. It's actually part of the story. Oh, but but the game I freaking love, Far Cry 3. It's one of the best uh, first-person shooters I've played uh, since like Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops was like my very first Call of Duty, and I fucking loved it. Um, I can't I can't wait for uh, the new Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I'm thinking about uh, getting the beta, um, pre-ordering the pre-ordering games so I can play the beta. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, let's get back to Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 gets a total of the score I would give Far Cry 3 is a total of nine point a, a nine point five out of ten. It's a it's a it would have been a ten as a did a few stuff here and there in, in the multiplayer, and they could have just, you know, you know, switched a bit of the a enemies like like, like the Molotov guys. Like they really did get to me. I know it's a nitpicky thing, but still, still, it, it's just, it just got me, and I just really hated them. Like they really got annoying. But the game is. Freaking awesome! I highly re recommend playing the game. It's it's just one of the best among the best first-person shooters I have played ever in my life. And and I'm still and I'm actually still and I still have uh, the game took me about um a lot of hours to complete. Um and I still have some stuff to 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 do. And it's kind of like what people said, Skyrim with guns. But it's still an awesome game, and I cannot, and I cannot wait to play more. Um, it's gonna, I'm gonna continue my my story in the co-op mode. I'm finally gonna be playing the multiplayer. Hopefully, there's still some people playing it. I hope it ain't gonna be turning like the Battle Battlefield Bad Company Two, where there's no one playing the damn game. And I'll be now be completing the rest of the. Side quests like the the wanted, the hunt, the hunt, the hunting missions, the outposts, the rest of the radio towers. Um, there's even World War Two notes that you can find, and there's relics as well, and and uh, all that stuff. And I just and I cannot wait. So yeah, I'm still gonna be playing this game. And if y'all want to join me in multiplayer, my uh. Gamer Tag is Survivor 976 on Xbox 360. So, so yeah. See y'all in, in a. So, yeah, I hope to see some of y'all in during some matches. And I and I freaking love Far Cry 3. It gets a 9.5 out of 10. It's worth playing, in my opinion, one of the best first person shooters I've played ever. And highly re re recommend playing it. It's worth watching. And. I mean, not worth watching. 
Think about an 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 anime or TV series. What the hell, it's worth it's worth playing, and I just freaking love love it so much. So yeah, Far Cry 3 gets, gets a 9.5 out of 10. What did you guys think about it? What did you guys think of this review? Hell, why hell? What did you guys think? Think 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 of the game? Leave in the comments below, and I'll make sure to read read, read them and maybe reply at some. It depends like which ones. Uh, it depends like which one which comments uh are are being you know typed down and all that. But yeah, hope hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the review. Like the video if y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe if y'all want to see more. Comment below about what y'all think. And if y'all are new to the channel, y'all like y'all like my you know, and if any of you are are a fan are a fan of my video, if y'all if, if any of y'all like my videos and y'all and y'all want to be and y'all want y'all want to see more, be sure to be sure to subscribe for more. And I and again, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see y'all next time. Survivor out.